Hi guys! In this video, I will share how to interface ePaper display using Raspberry Pi. Before that, please like, share, subscribe, and press the bell to get the latest update from us. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 model B SD card with the latest Raspberry Pi OS, e-paper driver head for Raspberry Pi, and 2.9 inch tricolor e-paper. Connect the head to the Raspberry Pi and connect e-paper to the driver. Set display config to B and interface config to 0. Please make sure the connection is correct and power up the Raspberry Pi using USB-C adapter. I remote the Raspberry Pi using SSH on VS Code. This e-paper is using SPI communication, so we need to enable SPI module in Raspberry Pi. Write sudo raspi config, select interface options SPI, and enable it. Then, we need to restart the Raspberry Pi sudo reboot next we need to install a few libraries first is adafruit blinker sudo pip3 install adafruit blinker second is circuitpython epd sudo pip3 install adafruit circuitpython epd the third one is deja vu ttf which is a font type used in the program sudo apt get install TTF Deja Vu Okay, we have installed all the libraries. Now, we will proceed to the program. Create a new file under the Documents folder. Give it a name. You can use the sample program that I have shared in the Cytron tutorial page. Save the file. Now we will run the program. Open Documents folder in Integrated Terminal. sudo python3 and the file name. This sample program will draw two rectangular shapes. The first rectangular is filled with yellow color. The second rectangular is filled with white color. Followed by hello world at the center of the screen. If you notice, it takes around 15 seconds for it to be fully refreshed. Then, the program will clear the display after 3 minutes. So, if you plan not to use it for an unknown period of time, my advice is to clear the display first. If not, it might affect the display quality later. So that's all for today. I'm Idris from Cytron Technologies. 
Good luck and thank you for watching.